Hello everyone, welcome to our weekly edition of Nike Nile Cruise. Uh, my name is Shif Al-Suni and I'm joined today with my colleague Salma al -Fiyah. Hello Salma. Hi Shif, hello, how are you? How's everything? It's good right. to have you, thank, thank you very you. much. Likewise. Um, uh, in this edition we'll be having a coverage for uh, the recent activities or incidents that happened uh, throughout this week and definitely topping this uh, incident is, uh, on the political uh, spectrum is definitely uh, the uh, constitution and the 50 member uh, the, the 50 member constitution uh, assembly uh, has actually finished uh, the draft that was uh, passed by to uh, the president for approval and hence will be kept for referendum that was uh, the topping the events definitely for this week definitely and uh, mr musa chairman of the uh, committee calling upon the people for a vote of a yes uh, and now we also uh, have, um, as we all know, the protests in the um, Egyptian universities, the students. That's also been topping the news for this week. And we also have the death of the um, uh, famous poet Ahmed Fouad Nigm, who's the poet of the people. Yes, on the light side, uh, the closing ceremony of uh, the 17th Egyptian National Film Festival uh, took place uh, this week. Uh, the festival has actually stopped since the 25th of January. Uh, revolution and uh, took place once again. It was led by uh, the president of the president was uh, the president of the festival. I'm sorry, was uh, the uh, famous uh, cinema director Samir Saif, um, and definitely 117 Egyptian films participated in this year's festival. Uh, moving now to uh, we'll be looking at a report that will be covering the recent events of this week. So stay tuned. The short film forum taking place throughout the whole of December screens a series of movies under consecutive themes. The 1st of December is dedicated to short movies and includes eight films from Gulf countries, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. The event is organized in cooperation with the Dubai International Film Festival and the Gulf Film Festival. The total screening time of all the movies is 110 minutes. Townhouse, one of Egypt's most prominent independent art spaces, launched in December 1998 with a small exhibition on the first floor of a residential building tucked in one of the downtown Cairo side streets. Since then, it has dramatically expanded its scope, hosting more than 100 exhibitions across the years, establishing the city's first contemporary art library, setting up studios for international resident artists, running outreach programs, and much more. This December, Townhouse celebrates a decade and a half with three exhibitions to celebrate our history while looking towards the future. Two solo exhibitions by prominent contemporary artists Huda Lutfi, Cut and Paste, and Lara Baladi, Freedom is Coming, run in December. Omar Khayrat is a renowned Egyptian composer and pianist whose originals has earned him a large following in Egypt and the region. Khairat established the Cairo Conservatoire and enriched the Arab music with great symphonic pieces. Influenced by the legacy, Omar Khairat discovered new musical dimensions in emotions and memories of the Egyptian and Arab personality. Khairat performed across the region with his ensembles. This time he was accompanied by Biblioteca Alexandrina Orchestra on Wednesday. On Thursday, the 5th of December, the Cairo Opera House will celebrate Al Tanbura's troupe Silver Jubilee. Al Tanbura is a unique troupe for authentic Egyptian folk music, merging Eldoma Sufi chants, fishermen's folk hymns, and songs of resistance that transport listeners to other dimensions of time and place. For 25 years and counting, Al Tanbura has managed to preserve and reinvent folk Egyptian songs that venerate local social history between their lines. Egyptian striker Mohamed Saleh has won the Swiss Golden Player Award 2013, an award given by the Swiss Association of Football Players for being the best player in the Swiss League during the 2012-2013 season. He received the prize at a ceremony on Monday. Since joining Basel last season from Egypt's Arab contractors, Saleh has quickly established himself as one of the team's key elements at both the domestic and continental levels, scoring nine goals in all competitions. Saleh, who won the CAF Most Promising African Talent of the Year award in 2012, helped Basel to win the Swiss League title last season and finish runner-up in the Swiss Cup.
Have you got a good story? Get in touch with Nile TV. Send us your videos, pictures, and stories. Email us on our website. Contact us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And also Google Plus. Be part of making the news. Only on Nile TV International. Welcome back. And uh, with us, the next segment, as we've been used to now for a few weeks, is the cruising online, where we have uh, the most popular comments that uh, most of you that we'd like you please to share with us on uh, Nile TV, uh, Nile Cruise on Nile TV. And uh, we have on it the most popular comments that people have been putting about the popular most events uh, that have been happening uh, this week. And Sharif, we have the social uh, media. Yeah, you can find us. You on know them better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you can find us on Nile. Nile Cruise and Nile TV, you'll find us on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and also YouTube, just as uh, the ad has previously mentioned uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, definitely, it's the way to interact together, it's the way to uh, find more about your input. Maybe if you have uh, videos that you can share, some comments or questions that you can share with us uh, over the social media, it will be great to have them. Well, let's move on now to the report that uh, Salma has been talking about, which is cruising online, and the report about the latest with the social media. weekly wrap-up of the most popular posts on social networks by Egyptian users, the issue of the new draft of the Egyptian constitution has attracted much attention. Egypt's new draft constitution was approved by a 50-member assembly on Sunday night. In theory, the constitution grants Egyptian citizens stronger rights than the earlier version which was drawn up by an Islamist dominated body. A post congratulates Egyptians on the finishing of the final draft of the new constitution. A referendum will be held for the constitution. Dates will be announced soon for the presidential and parliamentary elections. Another popular post refers to the dangers in police and army officers' lives. The post poses many questions to readers. How much salary would you take to die? How much salary would you take to work in any place ever, even in a place that you can't stand to visit? How much salary would you take to stand in the streets ready to be killed at any moment? How much salary would you take and your children may become orphans at any moment? Another post from a popular group with almost 30 million users speaks of the benefits of cocoa, which may help improve brain health and thinking skills in the elderly. Another popular post speaks of the benefits of consuming high fiber foods as they fill the stomach and fewer calories are consumed. Moving on to Twitter, lawyer Khaled Abu Bakr speaks that he has read thoroughly and for hours the articles of the draft of the new constitution, and he agrees with more than 85% of the articles. Some of the articles are great, and that he will say yes to the constitution. Actor Nabil Halafawi tweets that the enemies of the current regime and all those who benefit from Egypt being in crisis will not just criticize the constitution, but they will fight seriously, even without reading it. Another tweet is about the unclear future of the Middle East. 
the only country that still maintains its history, institutions and historic border and armed forces in Egypt. Amr Adin. He famously represented Peace that he is happy that Amr Musa didn't make it to the presidency of Egypt, as God has reserved for him a greater role. There is a huge difference between Amr Musa and Ghiriani in their presidency of constitution committee. Al Wab tweets that Muslim Brotherhood plans of forming a government in exile is a mere nonsense. Moving on to YouTube, here are some of the popular clips. Egypt, my darling, a song by Fabia. <laughs> Babies laughing at fake sneezes. Forget to visit our website www.nileinternational.net. <laughs>